Yes, you read that right. I am a dumbass. Look at my power antenna. Now, it's not the original antenna for this car. It's a replacement. But it did work, and it fit properly. So, this car had been sitting for about three weeks and was absolutely filthy. So, I jumped in it one day. Didn't feel like washing it. So, I did something that I never, ever, ever do. And I drove it through a car wash at the gas station. Well, by the time I realized what I needed to do, it was too late because this is all bent up and won't retract and anyway serves me right for going through an automatic car wash but just tried to save a little time and I didn't want to drive this thing all filthy so and it's actually worse than this but it is stuck in this position uh, partially retracted so what I did because I can't live with that is I jumped on eBay and I purchased this replacement and this is specifically for an 88 to 89 prelude si with the power antenna and it's got all these different options as far as uh i guess what you'd call the the neck or the sleeve or whatever so and i'm pretty sure this is exactly the same one that's already in the car it looks to be similar um if not the same exact one so I'm going to go ahead and this is uh, hopefully pretty easy to go ahead and pop out so I'll get started. Stay tuned. Well on my car I've got the fire extinguisher mounted here so in order to take this off it's just uh, it's attached to the, the jack storage box so that'll go out of the way. Take the jack out, pull all this back and expose um, the actual motor. And like I said, I don't anticipate this uh, to be a big job at all. I'll probably have to set up the new one, maybe tailor it to fit this specific car. But uh, once I get them out, I'll put them side by side. And I will list the link in the description where I got this. Although there's no guarantee that by the time you watch this, whenever that may be, it'll still be available on eBay. But I'll do the best I can to uh, show you which antenna it is and where I got it. Okay, removing this looks to be pretty simple. There's a, a finish nut on here that you have to loosen. And then mine just had one nut and bolt holding it into this uh, rearward hole. And let me just finish loosening this. And then I think it's got uh, the antenna cable plus a power and a ground and probably a trigger wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out. All right, here's the old one next to the new one. They're different but similar enough. So unfortunately, they, the new one did not come with any instructions, but it should be fairly simple to figure out. Like I said, there's only three wires on this old one. Um, the ground, the power, and I assume this blue one's the trigger wire. And so here we have three wires. The only difference I guess this green one is supposed to take the place of the blue one but one way to find out get it hooked up and see if it works okay just a little progress uh, report here the uh, wiring was exactly as I suspected and this cycles up and down with the key with the radio on so it's working as intended uh, this new one is close enough to the old one I just switched over the this uh, this bracket right here no sense in bending up a new one. And what I'm trying to figure out now is the actual um, escutcheon, I guess they call it. I took off the old one. Nothing wrong with it, it's just a little worse for wear. And cleaned up the factory mounting hole. And I don't know, what the, some adhesive right there. So I'm gonna see which, uh, which new one is the best. It came with probably about 10 or 15 different versions. So I'm going to go ahead and find the best one and stick that in and mount this. Okay, check it out. It's installed and working properly. It goes up and down when the radio is on. Mounted in the exact same holes as the old one. Although this one seems to be maybe a little longer, I don't know, a little taller. 
there is some adjustability in this and the only issue that I can find is this is an OEM spoiler and it just kisses it just a little bit right here but there's nothing I can do about that um, unless I wanted to face it forward which would look really stupid I think these are designed to go you know camp back just a hair and that's how this is so the chances of me having the trunk open while the car is being started and this is going up is are slim to none but I mean it will it's not bad it just hits it a little bit deflects off of it so at any rate that's done sorry about the wind on the step in the garage not really a project I was looking to do but I think this thing was like I don't know 37 bucks delivered with tax so not that bad but it's worth it to me to have this functioning on the car so anyway I will put the link in the description and that'll do it by the way in case you haven't noticed my personalized plates finally came in after about four months so I think that's pretty cool retro 89 front and rear so that'll do it for a prelude project there's not too many of these filtering out because there really isn't anything left to do on this car so I'll film what I can anyway thanks for watching catch you on the flip side